What's up everyone, it's DV, and today we're gonna to be showing you how to use auto clickers, macros, in particular tiny task and pullover. A lot of you keep asking me like, how do I do these things? What do you recommend for auto clickers? And I realize it's been a while since I've done a macro video. In fact, the last macro video that I did was actually in Booga Booga because Roblox Islands was actually Skyblock and then Skyblocks back then. And then they, if you remember, they just like renamed to Islands and then they got DMCA'd. So they were down for a while. So I couldn't actually do a tutorial in Islands on how to use all of these tools and so today i'm actually going to show you in islands on how to get them and i'm also going to include all the links so you can download them yourself before i begin though if you could do me a huge favor and hit that like button and smash the subscribe button if you're new we're just about to pass 170,000 subs and we're on our way to 200,000 subs very quickly first i want to cover two things one is yes this is pc only now there are mac versions of some of these uh, macro tools we're going to cover those unfortunately i do not have a mac so i can't actually show you how to use these mac tools and from what i've seen most of the mac tools are actually charged so you actually they, they're they're actually paid app unlike the Windows versions where you know you can actually download all of these for free there's a lot of paid apps out there and I don't know what to say about that other than maybe what I need to do is just try to make a like a tiny task for Mac in fact you know I'm gonna actually do that so I will actually make a tiny task style recording app for you Mac users so that you can actually have a tool to be able to use on your Macs but the other thing that you're gonna notice is that this will not work for um, Xbox I actually do have a macro video coming for Xbox yes so let me tell you if this video gets at least 2,000 likes, I will work on a video for macros for Android and Xbox. And of course, us iPhone users are just, you know, we're kind of neglected. We don't have any macro tools on iPhone or iPad. So there are actually some like recipe recorders. So you can actually automate some things and I'll show you how to do that later, not in this video. But um, unfortunately, we don't have like the infinite macros like you do on Android or, you know, even on Xbox. Xbox, there are macro abilities. So I will be showing you how to use macros with your Xbox in particular for Roblox in general. So I use this tool called OP Auto Clicker. I will link this in the description, but it should be, I think if you just type in Auto Clicker inside of Google, it should show like a SourceForge link with OP Auto Clicker. So you want to grab that from SourceForge. Don't get it from anywhere else. Make sure it's from SourceForge. SourceForge is fairly secure. I've never had a single issue downloading something from SourceForge because typically it's an open source type of repo. If viruses and Trojans started showing up and malicious software started showing up a lot in SourceForge, that software would get taken down very quickly. So you can see here it is OP Auto clicker 3.0 and right here i'm just going to give you a quick overview of all these functions the things that i will tell you about is you don't need to worry about anything other than these milliseconds here and depending on how fast you want your macro to go um you can see the difference between you know 100 milliseconds versus 20 milliseconds um that's the only thing you need to worry about here and then pretty much all of these other things you can kind of ignore other than the start and stop so you can see it's f6 to start and f6 to stop so let's go and try to stay away from you can do record and playback and stuff but i i would not do that so let's go to a vending machine so i'm going to do we'll do like 500 milliseconds and i'm going to show you the different speeds of this so pretty much if you're going to fill up a vending machine for example and let's see what do we want to fill up this menu we'll, we'll fill this up with um i actually need to fill these up with star fruit so we'll go ahead and do that so we'll do star fruit seed and so i'm going to go ahead and hit f6 and you can see how slow it is look at look how slow it's going it's pretty slow right pretty slow so if you want to speed that up just go you know i just stopped my my playback change that to 100 milliseconds it's going to be faster so you can see how fast it's going it's lagging a little bit but it's going pretty fast right now, if you want it really fast, you're going to go with 20 milliseconds. That's typically what I do. Look how fast that is. It fills up your machine so much faster. So this is going to help you a ton. The other thing that you can use this for is for auto AFK. So like if you're on a published island, so say if you publish your island, you can pretty much just, you know, use this auto clicker and just go like this, you know, just put your mouse anywhere, hit F6 and you can leave your computer and this will stay on as long as the game server is on. Okay. So unless you crash for any reason, but most of the time you're not going to crash. So you can use this for any other game, especially if you're doing like uh, Ninja Legends or you know Simulator or something. Maybe you're blowing bubbles and bubblegum sim, whatever you play. You can pretty much just auto AFK using this technique. The other thing that I like about this is you can use it for auto clicking from chests. So if you have a chest that's, you know, like a bunch of stuff, like let's see, let's go down to here for these chests down here. Or even if you're transferring items from, you know, one player to another, you can use the auto clicker. Big C, I'm going to use the auto clicker in here. So you can see I just auto click that. And so if you're like AFK, you know, farming or something, you can pretty much sit here, right? And then you can just, you know, put your mouse over like a spot that they would typically be at and just hit you know f6 and you're pretty much auto farming whatever it is and a lot of people i'm surprised a lot of people don't know that you can actually do that but um it does save you a ton of time so that's pretty much the auto clicker like i said i will link that in the description now let's go ahead and jump over to tiny task here so tiny task is a tool that i use a lot now i will tell you this this tool there's a lot of variants of this there's a lot of variants
variants of tiny task out there that have viruses in them so you know and adware and stuff so be really really careful about where you download this i will link the one that i typically get from which is the portable apps website and this is this is the same version that i have running here i don't have any adware i don't have any malicious content there's no installation process pretty much it's portable which means you do not need to install it which is nice and that way things stay out of the registry and um, pretty much each time i run it it's a fresh copy right so there's no no saved preferences in here for the most part except for a couple things like these but um pretty much it's a fresh copy each time and so i pretty much run this like i said i have a virus scanner going i do not detect any viruses on this tool i've never had any issues on my computer the reason why a lot of virus detectors will even detect like this if you were to run this on maybe a different especially if it's like a school computer or anything else there may be issues because if you hit record it can actually record your input right your keyboard and your mouse and typically what happens is virus detectors will not like that because it can actually record your keystrokes so when you're recording it's actually recording you know your device inputs and so depending on how strong your antivirus is it may actually say you know this is no good the other thing is you know it's not a signed app either so because of that it might actually get thrown some errors and you know some security errors there for virus detectors it depends but like i said i have zero issues with this app tons of us use this but let's go ahead and jump and i'll show you what i can use this for so let's go over here to my farm and so what i typically use this for are things for repeated patterns so i can come over here for example see these trees so i'm going to go all the way to the end here and i'm just going to show you how to auto farm trees and you can do it for like auto farming these so let me show you how what i mean by that so let me grab my tiny task i'm just going to record right now i'm going to hit f8 and record the task of actually you know like picking up right so i'm going to pick up some berries i'm also going to record moving forward so i'm going to go ahead and hit f8 to start the recording i'm going to move forward and then i'm going to collect some berries i'm just going to repeat these and this is not typically how you would do it right and then i'm going to stop it so i'm going to hit f8 so now my recording stopped and then i'm going to play that back right so i'm going to play it back so it's only going to do it a little bit but you see this is this is the playback completely i'm not controlling this right now this is actually the tiny task going once now it's only going to play it once unless i change some one setting in here so i'm going to let this finish and then okay see how it stopped so to, so if you wanted to loop that what you would need to do is go under preferences and then you would go to continuous playback and then when i play it back now it's going to now it's going to loop this until i tell it to stop right so it's pretty much just going to repeat whatever i did so this is a really great macro recorder i like this a lot especially for movement related tasks and typically i will tell you i typically i only ever use this whenever i need to move or do complex like movements with the mouse if i need to control the mouse movement in any form so if i need to do the things like move the mouse here open this window do this and repeat a lot of complex mouse movements or even just kind of you know character movements then i'll typically use tiny task but generally i like to use a different tool for like things like you know spamming the f key and things like that which i'm going to show you i'm actually going to show you real quick though this is how i would actually do my tree farm using tiny tasks so i've got this little flag here right so if i drop off i actually will respawn where the flag is so i don't have to like keep you know i don't have to keep running back here so pretty much i can completely automate this and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drop off so i'm going to go ahead and go here and i'm going to hit f8 to record because again my recording hotkey is f8 you can completely configure that if you want to so if you want to change that to control shift alt r print screen or f12 of those keys are better for you then go ahead but pretty much what i'm going to do here is i'm going to get my axe out so let's get my diamond axe and i'm going to hit f8 to record um so i'm pretty much going to hit f8 to start recording and i'm going to also move at the same time okay so i'm going to hit f8 i'm going to move forward and then i'm going to just hold down and i'm kind of clicking every now and then with my axe and i'm going to stop the recording now all right stopped okay so i stopped my character as well so you're going to see a repeat of patterns here but let's just make sure you know continuous playback is enabled and then let's go and hit play now i'm only using the mouse to hit play and uh you know but you can actually use the playback key here too you can actually do Control shift alt p to playback or you can you know use some of these other keys just similar to recording um i usually use Control shift alt p because it's just a little easier i generally won't use the mouse to click on play but you can do that like this and so now i'm in here so now my character is going to start moving forward in a little bit so let's go ahead and hit play to play it back so you can see it's chopping trees automatically for me i am not touching my keyboard or mouse right now so pretty much i could just auto farm this now you're not going to want to have these little pauses and gaps for you know like movement or anything like that so when you're recording you pretty much want to record actually pressing you know the forward button and you know doing it in a very smooth process like you shouldn't have these pauses and so sometimes you know when you do you know recording so let's go ahead and stop this i'm going to do a better a cleaner recording here so we're going to go and do this and ideally 
as long as it got the W key movement and it feels that I'm holding it down still and you might have a little pause like that, right? So there might be a little bit of a pause still, but you're gonna see it's just much cleaner. Doesn't keep stopping over and over. There might be a little pause here and there, but it's you can just keep, you know, keep fine tuning it. And if you wanna do a sprint, so I haven't even shown you the sprint. So let's go ahead and do an F8 on that. So let's go ahead and sprint and make sure we're spamming to chop stuff down. And then I'm gonna hit F8 and then we're gonna play that back. So you see, you can actually sprint as well and you can you know speed everything up. So Tiny Task is a huge, huge help when you're trying to do macros and stuff in islands. And in any game, really, I you know you can use it for auto hatching. So if you, if a game doesn't have an auto hatch pass or something, or you, you know maybe you can't afford the auto hatch pass, you can actually you know use Tiny Task. Now you want to make sure the game actually allows it. So always check with the game devs or others in the community to make sure that macros are allowed for the game that you play, because otherwise you might get in trouble for using macros if they don't allow it. Now Islands, I've checked multiple times with the game devs directly. They're completely okay with macros, so they have not outlawed macros. They're totally fine with it. So that is how you use Tiny Task. Now we get to use my favorite tool which is the pullover macro tool and again um i'm also going to link that i think i mentioned already um the tiny task stuff i will actually link this in the description so if you want to download that go ahead um again you know be careful what you install i'm not endorsing it in any way if you you know take you it's pretty much install at your own risk meaning I am not responsible for you not knowing what you're doing on your computer, okay? So if you don't know what you're doing on your computer and you know you install something and break something, that is not my fault, all right? So, okay, so here we got the pullover macro and I actually have this already installed, but so we have pullover macro right here. So when you first load the app, there's gonna be like this like tutorial example. There's like a example macro, just close all that out and go fresh. So you're gonna wanna blink, you know, macro like this. And what's cool about this is you can actually specify Unlike Tiny Task, where it's a recorder, right? Tiny Task, you basically record your actions and it plays it back. That's it's as simple as that, which is really nice at times. But what if you want more control? What if you want to spell out exactly how fast something goes? Or when you're recording, you just can't possibly spam a key as fast as you need it to go. So, for example, on my farms here, you know, I want to be able to collect from these totems as fast as possible. And unfortunately, I can't spam the F key as fast as I need to to be able to, you know, gather every single one of these totems. Well, in that case, it's really helpful to have a tool where you can actually, you know, spell out how fast you want that F key to be actually, you know, be spammed. So what you do is you can see here, we've got different um, keys here. You can actually do it in the mouse or you can right click here and you're going to see a whole menu like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on insert keystroke and you're going to find the key you want to do. We're going to hit F because, you know, that's how we collect, right? So you're going to pretty much go up here, hit F and then insert. So now we've got the F key. Now what you see here is the delay zero. Be careful running it with delay zero. Delay zero will absolutely kill your computer, okay? So that is basically what you're saying is spam the F key with zero pause in between and that's just gonna destroy your computer's performance. What you want is about 20 milliseconds, at least 20 milliseconds. That is similar to what we were doing earlier with that auto clicker. 20 milliseconds is super fast, but it's not gonna kill your computer because there's still a bit of a pause in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit play so you can see how fast, you know, I'm, I'm gathering all of these like it's already faster and you can just kind of move your mouse around I'm not touching the F key at all and it goes pretty fast now there are certain certain limits with islands on how fast you can you know collect the collect items but watch this with the totems here so I'm just gonna run across with these totems and I'm look how fast I'm gathering from these totems you can see the stars flying to my inventory right now. This is why this farm is so overpowered. And if you see the little camera stutter, it's because it's trying to interrupt my sprint. Because each time you hit F, it kind of interrupts the sprint a little bit, but I'm still holding down shift to sprint. But you see how fast this is going. It's really crazy, crazy powerful. And you know, I still have it going so I can do this. So I can collect my um, berry bushes. So you can pretty much run through here and use your mouse to just do that. It's, it's really, really a life save. So let's back up a little bit. I just showed you the F key, right? Now, let me show you how to actually run it because I kind of brushed by that. So um, by default, right here on the top right, the loop is set to one, okay? So if you were to just play it, you'd be like, DB, it only runs once. Why does it only run once? You know, and you're like, why is it not looping? Um, well, what you need to do is make sure right here, see on the top right, it says loop zero equals infinite. So just make sure you turn that to zero there. And now it's just gonna keep playing like that. Just make sure, like I said, you're pressing this blue button when you play it. Now pay a close attention to this right here. See these two buttons? 
buttons. See these two keys, it's F7 and F12. I don't know what yours is set. I think yours might be set to F8, I'm not sure. So you just need to see what yours is set to. I use F12 because I like to toggle. So for example, if I'm playing this, so maybe I'm in the middle of a game kind of farming and someone you know starts talking to me. If I were to do this and go and start typing, look what happens. It's just gonna go crazy, right? And you're gonna be like, dude, I can't control, I can't type. So I would just basically hit F12 and that's gonna pause it. So you see on the bottom right, it has a little, it has a little pause kind of look. And what's nice about that is now I can go back here. I can type, you know, hi, and then I can go back to resuming with the hidden F12 again to toggle it back on. So now I'm back to F12, okay, and then back to F12. I never have to worry about rerunning the macro because I can toggle it on and off with F12. Now, in the other hand, if I want to stop it completely, I can hit F7 and that will stop it completely. And the way you can tell if it's running or not is see this icon here on the bottom right, it says pullovers macro creator. That is when it's off. That's when it shows that it's not running. So you can double click that and it'll open the screen. Now, if you hit play and you go back down, but you see how it's blue right there, that is basically a running state. That means it's playing right now. Now, if I hit F12, you see how it's paused and not pause, not right. So that's paused. This is not paused, this is playing. And if I want to stop it, I'm going to hit F7 and now it's stopped. So you just need to make sure you check these. Um, don't get stuck. Make sure you follow these directions before you start running stuff and breaking your computer. Okay. And again, make sure you have delays. Make sure there is some kind of delay inside your intervals or else you're going to kill your computer. So that is how you do it with the macro. So I hope this video was helpful to you for figuring out how to do macros. Since I haven't done much on Xbox yet, I will show that video probably within the next week or so. So again, I know this is only PC. I will actually link a couple Mac versions as well, but for Mac, I just can't find anything that's free. There's only a couple of them out there and they are kind of paid. I think they give you like a trial or something. I'm not sure, but they are paid apps. So, you know, keep that in mind. If anyone has recommendations for free Mac tools, definitely put those in the comments below. And so for you Mac and mobile users, if you can let me know in the comments below, which you want to see first, if you want to see mobile first, or you want to see Xbox macros first, let me know. And I will add that to my list for making a video on. And of course there is an update coming out on Friday as well as an event, special event on Saturday. So I'm super excited for that. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you all in the next vid. Peace.